What is up everybody? Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can take the SD card out of your Nintendo Switch and upgrade it to a bigger card. Now, if you're like me, you have a lot of games and a lot of data on the SD card in your Switch. And personally, I'm running out of space. So, I'm going to show you how you can transfer your data, your games, your saves, all that stuff from the card that came with the Switch to your new one without using anything you have to download from Nintendo. Now caveat, this is all going to be done on a PC. I don't have access to a Mac, so I don't know if this will work on a Mac, but you will need a card reader. For this project, I picked up a 512 gig micro SD card off of Amazon for dirt cheap over the holidays. I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below. I have this card in the camera that I'm recording this on right now. It works great, so I thought it probably is going to work great on the Switch as well. So the first thing we're going to want to do is turn off the switch. Now this might seem pretty basic, but you might not know this feature. So usually when you have your switch, you're going to click the little power button looking thing on the screen and then put it in sleep mode. Well, we actually want to turn off the switch so we don't corrupt any of the data. And the way you do that is right above the volume knobs, there's a power button. Hold that in for like three or four seconds and then you'll come up with the screen. And then on this screen, what you want to do is select power options and then turn off. Once the switch is completely turned off, you want to take the SD card out. And the way you do that is you have the kickstand in the back, pop the kickstand up and you'll see the little SD card there. You just push it in a little bit, it'll click and you can pull it right out, micro SD card. Let's get over the computer and I'll show you the rest of the process. All right, so now we're at the computer and this is the boring part, but we have to do it. On the left side, I have a folder that I created called Nintendo Switch Original. That's going to be where I copy the data from the SD card to. And then on the right side, I have the actual SD card. What we're gonna do is copy the Nintendo folder from the SD card over to our new folder. And this is gonna take a while because I have a lot of stuff in here. So we'll go ahead and let this go through. As you can see, I have 53 gigs in here, so it's going to take a little while. Once it's done, we'll come back and I'll show you the next step. So while the data is copying from our old SD card over to our computer, we need to actually format the new SD card. So I've already put the new SD card in the switch. To do that, you do exactly the opposite of what we did to remove the old one. Oh, flip up the kickstand, pop the card in, you're good to go. We'll fire up the switch. And what we're going to do is we have to format the SD card. The switch has a specific file system that it uses to read the SD card. So again, make sure you have your brand new SD card in the switch before you do this. We want to make sure you don't lose any of your old data. So go over to settings and then we're going to go down here to the bottom to system. And then we're going to scroll to the bottom again to format options. And then we want to format micro SD card. We'll click that and it goes, are you sure you're going to lose everything? We're going to click continue. And again, only do this if you have backed up your old SD card and you're sure positive that this is the new SD card. We'll go ahead and hit continue. And then once again, it gives you another caution saying, are you sure you want to do this? You're going to lose everything. We're going to go ahead and format because this is my new card. And because it's a brand new card, it should be super quick. So I'll click format and boom, it's almost instantly done. So now what we can do is we need to turn off the switch again, following the steps at the beginning of the video. Make sure you do a complete shutdown of the switch, not putting it to sleep. Complete shutdown, and then go ahead and pop the card out. Okay, now that everything is copied over from the original SD card to my computer, and I've formatted the new SD card in the switch, I've put the new SD card in the computer. It is now on the right hand window. The left hand window is my backup data. As you can see, because we formatted it in the switch, it has Nintendo and other stuff in there. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy our old stuff from the original drive over to the new drive. Now we want to make sure we're copying and not moving. If we move and something bad happens, we now more than likely lost all that data. So we want to make sure we're copying. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. And then again, like before, we sit and wait. So once this is done, we'll be back and I'll show you the rest. All right, so now I put the SD card back in the switch. I fired up the switch and all of our data is there. 
you see all my games and stuff are still there. I'm going to go over here to the system settings and I'll show you. We'll go down here to data management and then up at the top right you can see the giant SD card. Now it only shows 422 gigabytes of free space because we have other stuff on it. So it did update. Let me go over here to the album and you can see all of my old stuff is still there. Pictures I've taken within Animal Crossing and whatnot. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when the next video drops. As always, be kind to one another, wear a mask, and we'll see you in the next one.